Good morning, everybody. It is May 4th, and I'm over here at my buddy Slava's in Pennsylvania. We're gonna give this a try over here this morning. It's supposed to start raining around 8 o'clock, and uh, right now it's clear skies, though, as you can see out there. It's pretty, pretty windy, though. We're gonna see if we can't find another turkey over here. Turn you back on when uh, something starts happening here. Well, I'm afraid with how windy it is, I'm not gonna be able to hear anything up here. This wind is really whipping. I'm just gonna stick a decoy out here and uh, enjoy the sunrise this morning. I'm not gonna be able to hear any birds anyway, so I'll just sit out here with a decoy, enjoy the sunrise, and hope a bird hits this field. We'll see. Well, everybody, uh, don't really feel like I'm turkey hunting here. I'm sitting in uh, Slava's deer shanty up here. It's so windy out, I can't hear nothing. Even if they were gobbling, I'd never be able to hear them. I have trouble hearing as it is, and then to add the wind on top of it. Not happening. And uh, we have rain moving in here in a little bit, so I figured I'd just sit up in here and kind of do a scouting mission. Just watch all this field down here and see if any turkeys come out. I did stick my decoy out here uh, just in case, you know, a big long beard came out and I'd try to see if I could call him up here, but I doubt it. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the sunrise and, and see if any turkeys come out. I got a bunch of work I got to get done today at work, so we're going to sit here for a few hours, see what happens, enjoy. Uh, the wood's coming alive, and I'll bring you any action that I see out here. Ended up having no luck on the field. We had a hen come out and cross the corner back here, but we're gonna grab this decoy and we're gonna get down into the woods and see if we can't strike something. Put a few miles on and see what we can come up with here. We've tried a few more spots and uh, haven't got any responses. It's a little bit windy, but it's starting to calm down to where I think I'll be able to hear some birds. So we're gonna go over to these public land spots that got absolutely pounded this weekend and uh, maybe walk down in there and see if we can't get something fired up, even though I bet they're pretty educated by now. Uh, we'll see if nobody's up here pulling up. Yep, no one's here. So, that's a good sign. We'll see if we can get fired up. Well, it's now in the afternoon and uh, today's turkey hunt was a bust. Never got onto anything. I walked into some public land, did some calling, never heard any responses. The, uh, where the access to the public land was, there is literally what looked to be a cow path of boot prints through a trail that went into the woods. So, those birds are a little bit, uh, educated from this past couple days but right here is the turkey I killed opening day in Pennsylvania and uh, I know a lot of you guys are at are gonna ask how we do it so I just took the turkey breast and cut it into strips just like that 
And then in here you put uh, two eggs and a half a cup of milk. Mix it all up, put your turkey strip breast in there, mix it all up. And then we use this chicken breading mix. Put it in a bag, shake it all up, and then take it out into the oil for about 12 to 15 minutes, flipped once. And then right here you have awesome turkey chicken strips, turkey strips. And they are tasty. We put some, Kaylee just cut up some onions too, so we'll have some onion rings as well. But that turkey's going to be really tasty. I'll see you. The next part of this video is going to be tomorrow morning. So hopefully you have better luck. Okay, here we go everybody. It is the morning of May 5th. And it is a frosty, hard frost morning. And we're gonna go find us a goblin turkey. It's the last thing we do. We got, got quite a trip ahead of us here. I got up a little earlier than normal. We, we got a, about a 30 minute drive to where I want to hunt this morning and cross our fingers that there's going to be a goblin bird that we can actually go after. So I'll see you when we get to our destination. Okay everybody, we made it to our destination over here. You can hear, got the highway behind us. Just breaking daylight in the background, so we're gonna go up here, start right on top of the hill. See if we can't locate one goblin. Things aren't looking good for us here. I haven't heard a single gobble anywhere. It should be gobbling by now. That's the worst when you take a long trip to go hunting somewhere and then there's absolutely nothing there. We'll give it about 20 more minutes and then uh, we'll head back in the truck and go back home and see if we can strike something. This spot was 100% a bust this morning. Hate to waste a beautiful morning like this coming to a spot like this and not get into anything. I'm sure they're hammering in other places right now, but this woods gets hunted pretty hard and I would imagine that maybe these birds got shot up this, you know, the last few days or something. I don't know. But I'm way up on this hillside and I can hear this whole bottom down here. This whole hillside, never heard a single gobble this morning, so best option, go find a turkey that's gobbling. Well, finding a goblin turkey the last two or three days here is kind of like trying to stumble upon a golden nugget just laying in a field or something. This doesn't happen. It's getting pretty frustrating. We got all morning now. We're gonna do a lot of walking today and we're gonna we're gonna strike one folks. We're gonna strike a bird. I'm just gonna it's gonna happen when you least expect it. I'm just gonna give her give her a soft yell and a yelp and a hard cut and there's gonna be a bird that hits me back and it's gonna be like one of those aha moments where you know the stars align and this turkey's just gonna come gobbling in and I'm gonna shoot it at 20 yards on video for you guys and the whole thing's just gonna be like an unreal moment so stick with me and we'll see if it no we're not gonna see if it ha we're gonna we're just gonna it's gonna happen, but it's more like when. We'll get back after him here. Okay, we're down here in the state forest. And I've just walked back quite a ways. I haven't made any calls yet. Getting into some turkey scratchings now, but this obviously got a whole bunch of pressure this past weekend. I know there was a couple birds in here prior to the 
season opener. So we're gonna watch a few calls out here and then make a big loop down and around. See if we can't fire something up down in here. It's a beautiful morning. Welcome to Morning. What can we get for you? Can I get a large coffee with one cream and one sugar and a honey cruller donut? Okay, and anything else? Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. Okay, anything else? Nope, that would be it. All right, 312. Thank you. If you've never had Tim Hortons honey cruller donut, I highly recommend it. Give it a try. We have yet to hear a turkey gobble so this morning. Okay, give, I'll give you an update here. I got a bird to respond, and he's out here in this field. So I'm gonna, I'm in the edge of the woods. I just shed all my. Uh, stuff off and I'm going to try to get in this ditch and I got this uh, strutting decoy here I'm going to try to pop up over that ditch with that decoy and see if that long beard will see it I'm not going to be able to take this camera but I'm going to wear my GoPro so we'll just see what we can do here stalked all the way up there to the edge of the field and the birds were just over a roll in front of me and I was going to use this strutting decoy and go up over that roll with it and see if, it, if that tom would uh, want to challenge it but I don't trust going out into that field with this decoy it's not a it's not our field and I don't know who else is going to be hunting up there you know I wouldn't want to have somebody go by and see this thinking it was a real turkey and shoot me. So we're gonna elect not to do that out there. We'll let them turkeys get over that hill and see if we can make a big loop on them. And I had him shot gobble at me one time up here. He hasn't gobbled since. But we'll try that.
He's got hens with him, so he's not really too worried about me, but. Look at this call that Matthew's Custom Calls made. Kaylee and I, each one of these last year. They're super nice. Got my logo on it. Everything. Focus. The striker's made out of Purple Heart and it sounds super good. Okay, it's a little after 10.30, and uh, I got permission in this new woods. Never been in here before. It's actually getting logged right now. See all the trees marked over there and up here. But if you look around, there's turkey scratchings everywhere in here. So we're going to see if we can't get something fired up in here. Well, when I got permission, didn't realize that the woods was getting logged. And they're literally logging right now. So I'm gonna go to the very back corner. Hopefully they haven't got there yet. Looks like a tornado went through here though. And I know the turkeys aren't gonna like that. trip wasn't all for none. Check this out. First turkey hunting shot of the year. This woods is absolutely destroyed. little guy well I'm right on the edge of these logs here you can see there's some fresh turkey sign right here some fresh turkey sign right over here issue is though that that's a property line right there so, looks like we got some, you know, some woods to work with over here that aren't, you know, totally cut to the ground. We'll see. Right up on top, all the logging ended over there. They haven't got to this spot yet. They still have all these trees marked in here, but look how fresh all these turkey scratchings are. Super fresh, and this is a high point right here. I feel like 
this would be just a killer spot. There's a big ravine that comes down over there. Really like the looks looks of this spot right here. I might just set up for a little bit and see what happens.